as I hope you can see, I've got these kind of cool little safety goggles and what they're for is we're almost up to 150 subscribers and since well i guess we only opened this channel for so long it took us a long time to get up to the 150 subscribers so we're celebrating for that and i still have to do my video of the day since basically i'm so excited about it because we're basically fighting nerf gun world war one and then we're gonna have world war two and stuff so of course, we'll read our problem. I mean, what else do we do in a problem? So first, we have a, a palindrome is a positive integer that reads the same forward and backward, like 231,132 or 6,336. How many four-digit palindromes are divisible by three? Now, we could just list out all of our palindromes, but again, that's not very sporting. So what we're going to do is we're counting some number of things and usually you got a list or a Venn diagram or something or a tree diagram a diagram to like a diagram or a list to help you count all those possibilities so well, I'm gonna look for a list since since they're not telling us how two palindromes relate so we're just gonna look for a list of how we're gonna do our palindromes now every pound I mean every four digit palindrome looks like this because the first two digits are going to be automatically mirrored over to the other two digits so because of that we really only need to look at a b how many possibilities there are for a b because whatever a b is it's going to get mirrored over to b and you see how these two are like mirrors and, and you can look at how many ways you can get ba as well because well ba it's going to get automatically mirrored over to ab same with ab it's going to get mirrored over to ba so what about this r divisible by free rule how does that affect our ab well since the divisibility rule for free is just a b not really the sum of all your digits in the number has to be divisible by three well we see a plus b plus b plus a that has to be divisible by three and if a plus b isn't divisible by three well then a plus b isn't divisible by three b plus a won't be divisible by three either you add two numbers that aren't divisible by three you get a number that's not divisible by three so a b our two-digit number AB has to be a multiple of three. So that clears off stuff a little bit. We just need to find how many multiples of three there are, but from which range? I know I know we end at a two-digit number, but where do we start? Well, you might be thinking, oh yeah, yeah, we start at three. That's the smallest three-digit multiple. I mean, that that's the smallest mul positive multiple of three. Well, again. You're thinking about zero a little too much because we know we can't forget about the possibility of B being zero, but A, that can't be zero because like this number isn't a palindrome because this number, which I do not know how to pronounce since we do not write it like that, is 220 and that is not a palindrome. Even though this looks like a palindrome, it's not a palindrome. That means A can't be zero. And since three, six, and nine, they all have zero in their ten digits. A again, zero is basically A, and we can't have A is zero. So we have to start from twelve, the smallest two digit multiple three for A B, and then we just go up by threes. 21 on 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 and the largest multiple and, and the largest two digit multiple of three is just 99 and well to count how many numbers are in this list first well we divide by three for all the numbers and get four five six seven nine 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 all the way up to 33 subtracting three from every number gives us our answer which is 
30 different palindromes because we found how many possibilities are over AB. For every number AB can be, it's going to get mir automatically mirrored over to BA. That means we're done with our answer, which is 30. Come on, guys, I'm done!